My name is Travis Alabanza and I have written Sound of the Underground. Yeah, well for me, I knew that I'd just finished writing Overflow, which felt like a really alone project because I'd written it in lockdown on my own at my house, which isn't how I like to write. And this, from the very beginning, I knew it had to be not about just me making it. So I rang up Debbie Hannon, who directed Overflow, and said, do you want to make a show with me? And it's about work and labour, so we need to figure out how we're working together. And so from the very beginning, Debbie has been kind of co-collaborating on it. Sound of the Underground is about, it's a, like a homage and a respect and an interrogation into the London queer club scene. I wouldn't be writing today if I wasn't coming from the UK club scene. I think it's where the best performers are. And so I wanted to make a show where those people aren't giving like a tag on the end or in the mood boards for other people's work, rather a chance to really show them on a big stage, show what they can do and interrogate what it means to work in the clubs and how the cuts to arts, the government funding, um, the closure of queer nightlife is affecting a huge part of the artistic workforce. So it feels like half devised, half performance. And then I also know because of the cast that we're working with, 25% of the show will probably be them rewriting the script live on stage every night, you know, and just saying like, I don't want to say that. You know, you can't pick actual queer club legends and expect for your script to be said word for word every night. And so, yeah, it's going to be a different show every night and it won't go how I want it to go. And I think that's what's really exciting about it.